ready to open the hood, useful for the tutorials. And for car parts, the right idea is the Mr. Auto app. Easy, fast, and with better prices than on the website. In order to change the oil, you will have to purchase an oil filter, a pre-oil change cleaner, and an oil collector. You can find the recommended parts and products in the video description as well as in the link to know the type of oil and the amount needed. Turn off the ignition. Pull up the handbrake. Pull on the bonnet release lever and open the bonnet. Open the oil fill plug. This will increase the oil flow when performing an oil change. Before training the oil, we recommend adding a pre-oil change cleaner to the used oil. This will enable you to unclog your engine and get rid of any persistent residue to reduce your consumption of oil and fuel and to reduce the polluting emissions as part of a technical checkup. Before using it, start your vehicle for 5 minutes so that the oil is slightly warm. Then add the product and leave your engine turning over slowly for 10 to 15 minutes. Once the product has been added, you must not drive your car. Ensure that you change the oil immediately afterwards. In order to drain your vehicle, you must first lift the front section of your car. This will enable you to access the drain nut. Lift the front of your vehicle and put it in the two axle stands. We strongly suggest watching the tutorial, raising your vehicle safely, before carrying out this step. If the front plastic crankcase is present, you should now remove it to have full access to the drain nut. You can now see the drain nut. Using a socket wrench and a 22mm socket, unscrew the drain nut. Start the process with the wrench and finish off by hand. Anticipate this by placing a container underneath to collect the oil. You can learn how to make one by watching another of our videos, how to make a collector for liquids. Be careful on the last few turns of the screw, the oil may suddenly squirt out. Let the oil run out for 10 minutes or so. Replace the drain seal with a new one, then screw the drain nut back in. Start by hand, then finish off using a wrench without being over sellers, of course. When performing an oil change, it is necessary to replace the oil filter. To avoid letting the oil inside the filter from flowing out, place a collector for liquids under it. To be able to access the oil filter, you have to remove the resonator. To do this, remove the rivet by levering off the central part with a flathead screwdriver. Then, remove the second part of the rivet. Shift the holding tab and pull out the resonator. Finally, separate the aerial nut conduit by pushing down on the two tabs. Remove the air supply conduit on the turbocharger by pivoting it a quarter turn anti-clockwise. Please support us, subscribe and like the video, that will be really cool. With a socket wrench, a gimbal, an extender and a 27mm socket, release the flange and the oil filter, turning it anti-clockwise until it starts turning easily. Finish off by hand. Remove the filter. When released, turn it upwards to avoid spilling any oil. Using a thin screwdriver, take out the rubber O-ring, which is located on the flange washer. 
clean the filter flange using brake cleaner fluid and paper towels. Take the new filter. Replace the seal with the one that is supplied with the new filter, ensuring you properly oil its surface. The new filter is equipped with guiding markers that make it possible to perfectly position the filter and ensure the best flow of oil. Therefore, start by inserting the filter into its frame. Careful, it is very important to position the filter correctly. You can then put the flange in place by hand until it makes contact. To tighten it, take a socket wrench, an extender and a 27mm socket. Now, tighten until the washer comes in contact with the metallic housing of the filter, then apply a little pressure. For this step, you can also use a torque wrench that has been set to 25 newton meter. Careful! With this kind of oil filter, the new joints can be excessively thick, making the actual tightening process more complicated. As a result, you have to ensure that the flange washer is flat against the metal engine frame. Don't force too much, as the part is fragile. Place the air inlet conduit back. Put the resonator back in place and lock it in. Now, you have to put the oil back into the motor. You have to be very careful and precise when doing this part of the job. Firstly, put the crankcase back in place, then lower your car back to the ground and check the oil level. This is something that can only be done when the vehicle is flat. Begin by putting 90% of the suggested amount. This will leave you a large enough margin to adjust the level of oil appropriately. You can find the exact amount of oil suggested for your car in the description of the tutorial. Close the oil fill plug, start the engine, and let the car run for 30 seconds. This will fill the oil filter. Remove the oil gauge and wipe it down. Plunge it back into its sheath, remove it again and check the oil level. The optimal level is near the maximum, but be careful to never go over it. Based on the level indicated on the gauge, readjust to obtain the optimum amount. Operation completed. Hello, if this video helps you, like and subscribe.